All right. You guys wanted a reliever. You're going to get the best of them. Today, you're going to learn about Rally Fingers and why he might have the best pitch mix in this game. All right, guys, I just wanted real quick to thank you guys for your support. We are almost 200 subscribers pushing for 200 and then 300 and beyond. I really do appreciate you guys. Hit a like on the video if you want to see more relievers in these pitching videos. I got Raleigh Fingers here and ready to go. We're going to learn about him today. Let me know who you want to see in the comments below out of all the relief pitchers in this game. Also, if you have not seen yet, I stream on Twitch. The link is going to be in the description. I'm there Monday, Wednesday, Friday nights, and Saturday afternoons. We have a great time over there. Go check that out. Give me a follow there. All right, so Raleigh Fingers. He's in that Corey Kluber, Hal Newhauser, Ricky Henderson, Willie McCovey pack. The high diamond pack and the XP path. 96 overall, Cy Young winning pitcher. This man rocks a repertoire of sinker, slider, fork ball, four seam, absolute filth. He has 38 stamina, which is pretty solid for a closer. 107 hits per nine, 111 K per nine, makes PCI sizes very small. Great control, great clutch, amazing break on his pitches. He's even got 68 fielding, so he's not even a common fielder. This card is amazing. Getting into the quirks, he has a great one in pressure cooker, which means that he actually excels when runners are on base. He does even better. Stingy, which means he limits base hits. He's got a great repertoire, great pitch selection. This is absolutely true. Untouchable, which means he strikes out a lot of hitters. I actually strike out a good amount of hitters with him for him being a ground ball pitcher. It's pretty nice. Control artist, which means he limits walks. That is absolutely true. It's very hard to walk people if you're actually decent with the stick here and analog pitching in the show. Grounded, which means he limits home runs. He's a ground ball pitcher. You shouldn't be giving up very many home runs with Raleigh Fingers. Sinker baller, obviously throws a great sinker. And he also has Mr. Splitty. He throws an effective split finger pitch, which is his fork ball. This thing is nasty. It is slow. It moves a lot. It is just so different from his other pitches in terms of speed. Always gets that butt out, way out in front swing that everybody seems to do on those slow pitches. Fantastic pitch. His sinker goes about 93, but can get up to about 95, 96 miles an hour every now and then with a lot of break. It's really good. The slider, you can control it pretty well. It has more lateral break than downward break, but it is a good complement to that sinker. The fork ball, like I said, incredibly slow, moves a lot, great speed change. It's hard to hang, honestly. It's a, it's a pretty good fork ball. He also has a four seam fastball, which gets up to 96, 97 miles an hour. I think this card is better than Raleigh's 99 from last year. I actually struggled with this card last year, and I tend to do well with his cards in, in other years. This card is fantastic, especially above All-Star. On All-Star, he, he can get hit a little bit, but so can everybody. It's All-Star difficulty. It's meant for hitting. That's why BR is on All-Star, and most events are on All-Star. All right, so we're going to get into Raleigh's pitch mixes here. We're going to start with versus righties. Against righties, I love to jam that sinker inside. You can do low and in with him, the, you know, the typical pitch everyone expects, except his sinker is so nasty, it actually works. I like going middle in, up and in with the sinker for strikeout pitches, especially if you're coming off that slider low and away. Just that sinker slider combo, there's so much you can do with it, as I've said in previous videos, even with sinker cutters, but sinker sliders can be even better because that's more break on that slider. The slider, I like to go low and away to righties. Every now and then I'll go low and into a righty front door that on them just to like, you know, keep them off balance, especially if they're starting to take that sinker inside a little bit. The fork ball, I like to go low and away, low and in. Sometimes I like to go middle way even, especially if they're, they see that I'm throwing like a four seam up and away every now and then. If you put that fork ball away in the zone, not even down, but like middle away on the black, they're gonna think it's that fastball, gonna swing right over it. Four seam fastball, go up and away. I don't like to go up and in very much because that sinker is about the same velo and has some inward break there. I, I think that sinker, you may not even need the four seam very much unless you need a free strike up and away. But honestly, the sinker is your fastball. That is your pitch. You can put that pretty much anywhere. You can backdoor that to righties and have the slider go off of that. You can jam that thing inside, middle in, up and in. You could have that thing come down, up and away if you're really trying to get fancy. That's more hittable pitch though. Let's not do that very often. All right, versus lefties. 
I really enjoy with Raleigh Fingers going up and away with that sinker, not the four seam. The four seam you can do, and in fact, do it every now and then, but have that sinker come off of it. It's a little downward tilt. It is a high and away pitch that gets you ground balls. Low and away sinker, that's what you expect out of a right-handed sinker baller, especially if a lefty's at the plate, but it still works. Get a lot of rollovers there, get a lot of ground balls to third base as well. Front door that sinker on them, especially if you're throwing that slider low and in. If you front door that sinker, it's a free strike. Slider, I like to go back leg for a strikeout pitch, low and in just off the plate when it's not a strikeout pitch. You can back door it every now and then too. It's a fantastic pitch. The fork ball, low and away, low and in, same as righties. The strategy is the same with the fork ball, just flipped. It's mirrored because the, the handedness of the hitter change. That fork ball is good enough that you can use the same strategies no matter what. Four seam, I said up and away. Uh, you don't want to do much else with it. Frankly, the sinker is just a much better pitch and you can place it just as well, if not better than the four seam. All right, guys. So in overview of Raleigh Fingers, this card is, I think, the best reliever in the game. He has a top three pick in that, that high diamond pack. He's fantastic. Great pitch selection, great velo changes, great break on his pitches, great quirks, great per nines. I have nothing negative to say about this card. Get him in your bullpen, use him. High leverage situations, closer, it doesn't matter. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, leave a like on the video if you wanna see more relievers in these videos. Let me know that way. Let me know in the comment section who you wanna see. And guys, until next time, I'll see you later.